What up, peeps? I'm back again and here to talk about Antonio Cipriani, a.k.a. Tony. Hey, I'm Tony Cipriani. Now, do you guys remember when Tony got mad at the laundry ladies who worked at Mr. Wong's laundrette? Okay, kid, drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washerwomen ain't been paying their protection money. They were coming up short with Tony's money. So I'm driving Tony down to the laundromat. And now, I just met Tony, and to me, he just looked a little out of shape. Not much muscle or anything on him. So we pull up, and Tony is talking about weight here, and jumps out of the car with a bat. So I'm like, okay, go ahead, Tony, go handle your business, Antonio. Look at Tony. He got a bat by himself, don't need no help. About to go show them triads who's boss. Hit him. Oh, we drove the hell up out of there. Now, there's actually two Tonys. You got Fat Tony and Skinny Tony. Now, Fat Tony, first off, this purple suit. He's pimping. Now, in GTA 3, Tony is one of the highest ranking members of the Leon family and actually lives with his mother at Mama's Restaurant in St. Mark's. Yes, ma. Tony loves his mother and pretty much tries to do anything he can to follow in his father's footsteps to appease her, which, a matter of fact, much is unknown about Tony's father, but he tries to do everything he can to live up to him, to follow in his footsteps. Now, this is the thing about Tony's mom that's crazy. Tony's mom is so displeased with him that she actually puts a hit out on her son. Ma, you there? From this point on, we're broke. I called a hit on you. It's really the only way, Antonio. What? Huh? You were always a disobedient fool. At least try to die like a real man. Tony's mom, boy, she making sure she don't raise no fool. There will be no punks raised in this house. And now since I mentioned Tony's father, now I know why Tony hates the triad so much. I want you to destroy their laundry vans and mangle any triad gimp that gets in your way. The triads think they can mess with me? Let's teach these would-be tough guys what it means to be a tough guy. Tony's father was actually killed by members of the triad gang. Now, Tony is real close to Salvatore's son, Joey, and Joey introduces Tony to Claude, the main protagonist in GTA 3. Tony wants Claude to destroy the triads. These fools are just battling the triads and the fist trucks just zooming around, gunning, gunfire being exchanged in every direction. And this all goes on until Claude betrays the Leone family. Well, actually, Salvatore was trying to get Claude killed. But, and guess who presumably is the new Don? Antonio. Should we call him the last Don? Now, that's pretty much where Bat Tony's story left off. But now, when it comes to Skinny Tony, brother, it's Skinny Tony. Run, fool! This fool is Tony Montana. Oh my gosh. Tony is, he's out here. He's up in these streets going ham. Just crazy. I was not prepared from GTA 3 to Liberty City Stories. This is a different Tony. I gotta break him up in two parts, fat and skinny. This fool, skinny Tony, oh my. Dog, this fool was as ruthless as it comes. So ruthless that he had to leave Liberty City for about three years for killing a very important rival. It's a gray area, but some people think he was either from the Ferrelli or the Sindaco families. Do you know how hard it is to remain unknown? You know how much money you have to have? How did Tony even find this man? Tony had to get the hell out of there. This dude was so important. The city was probably about to collapse on him. Now, all these events happened before Tony blew up, by the way. So while Tony had to leave, Salvatore strips Tony of his rank and promotes Vinny. 
and then he actually tried to get rid of Tony. Hey, Tony, how's the car? You son of a bitch, Vinny, you set me up. Set you up? Set you up? When you came back to the city, you had nothing. I understand that as long as I work for you, I get treated like a bitch. Well, look, I was making scores while you were looking up girls' skirts. Have your bitch job back, boss. I quit. They didn't get along, but Tony wasn't having it. Around this time, Tony is watching after Maria Salvatore's girl, who's always cracked out. Just trying to keep her out of trouble, but man, she's a piece of work. Tony continues trying to reach his goals of moving up the ranks in the Leone family hierarchy, battling the Ferrelli, the Sindaco families. He'll do anything to be a made man. He even killed the Liberty City mayor. There's nothing that will stop him. Tony's also working with Donald Love during this time, and Donald, his whole career is on fire, so he hires Tony. He's got Tony out here killing and stealing to regain his fame. Tony then gets involved with Toshiko. She's upset with her husband. This all results in Tony killing Kashiko's husband in a duel. My men dishonor me, but it is fitting that I kill you myself. The skinny Tony era is pretty much at an end at this point when him and Salvatore kill Massimo Torini. Great news, Tony. One of the leaders of the Sicilian Mafia. The bottom line is Tony will do anything for, well, to first please his mother, but to also please Don Salvatore. He will rob, kill, steal, whatever it takes. He's mad loyal to Salvatore and will do anything it takes to have a seat at the table. A few of the guys will be calling you later. Make sure you're around when they arrive. Ciao, Salvatore. And that's it, peeps. Let me know what you guys think about Tony Antonio. Running them streets and just doing anything it takes to, to get ahead. He was on a mission. He very ambitious, very loyal. Very interesting character in GTA 3. Let me know what you think. And all right, peeps, you know what it is. Please like, share, and subscribe. And you know what it is, peeps. Until next time. Gia.